Hey guys, I am Willie Inca and welcome to my channel. Well, today I'm actually a bit in a lower mood uh, because this video is dedicated, it's about the death of Tanzanian billionaire Reginald Abraham Mengi who died on the 2nd of May 2019. Such a... Yeah, he died in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates and yeah, the cause of death is not really put there in public yet but so far we know he died at the age of 75 alongside his wife and family so yeah, it seems like, yeah, so we're basically celebrating his life. So yeah, um, Reginald Abraham Mengi, for some of you who might not know him, is actually one of the richest people in Tanzania and Africa. In the year 2014, it was actually, I mean, Forbes estimated his net worth to be around $560 million. So yeah, you could actually measure how much that is. And uh, apart from that, he has been a, one of the biggest business moguls uh, across Africa. He is actually one of the people who owned one of the biggest media federation, Coco, yeah, IPP Media, which owns an 11 newspaper that is print media. I mean, and then he owns um, uh, some TV channels that like ITV, Independent Television, East Africa Television, and uh, Capital TV, which also have their radios as well, like Radio One. Capital FM, East Africa Radio, and stuff. So it does is actually one of the people who actually bought this independent TV stations and stuff. That yeah. Apart from that, apart from that, he also owns uh, one of the co sole Coca-Cola product company that pers that uh, covers the northern region of Tanzania. That is called we call it Bonita Bottlers, but if you read it, it's written like Bonite Bottlers, which I mean produces all. the Coca-Cola products across the northern region of Tanzania. Apart from that, he has actually one of the has one of the leading uh, what drinking I mean water brand that is Kilimanjaro water brand, which is actually one of the best selling across Africa. I mean across Tanzania, and I love that. I love that drink Kilimanjaro. It's one of the best, by the way. Apart from that, his IPP company also owns several mines. He's in Apart from that, he has actually had several projects that have been coming up that he has actually been trying to establish. So he's pretty much. Um, a person who has worked hard to where he is and he has done so much to be where he's at to have all that money the one thing that I liked about him is he was such an amazing philanthropist he actually gave back a lot to the community he never forgot where he's from even in his book he actually is an author as well he actually released his book last year 2018 in July it's called I can I must I will which is basically his autobiography so all that so he's pretty has been a person who has been you know his journey and his life has been impactful and really inspirational to me and to the Tanzanians because he has actually done so much so here are the five things that I remember or I've learned from Reginald Abraham Mengi one of the things that I remember from Mengi that I really treasure is that he was an amazing philanthropist. Over the years, he's actually been giving back to the community and has actually been helping several medical, religious, and even educational institutions across the country. Almost every year, give out approximately a million dollars to such institutions just to help his community. One of the things that really touched me and that really made me admire Mengi is that after losing his son that was Rodney I forgot the year that this, his son died but his son died to heart issues and then after that he started the Rodney Moti Foundation which was a foundation that was basically about helping Tanzanian children with heart issues to pay for the trip to go to India or the United States to get surgeries and most of them so he has paid for like a hundred Tanzanian more than a hundred kids to go and get treated so that's amazing apart from that he has actually been part of some educational movement and just helping some schools he has been sponsoring multiple students to go to school he has helped several schools build classes and stuff he has done pretty much a lot in helping the community so he has really inspired me he actually that he has actually showed me that you could have all this money but you could I mean that doesn't change you from being a human being that should never separate you that should never take you out and lose your humanness I would say he always came back to earth he would always come back to his community and just show love and spread love and you couldn't like when you meet Mankey you wouldn't tell that he's that this millionaire he was so down to earth I've seen him once I've never really spoke to him but I've seen him in an event and the way he talks to people you would just feel yeah he was an amazing philanthropist number two he was actually 
things that I remember about him is such an environmentalist. He loved the environment so much and he cared about the environment. With all this going on and the issue of global warming and stuff, he is actually really passionate in helping the environment, especially in making sure that the environment is safe and is the environment is yeah, basically clean and just pollution and stuff is gone. So one of the biggest campaign that he started was planting trees across the Kilimanjaro region, which where he's from, because he is that's the place where he's actually born and grew up. So he has been seeing this beautiful land and now he's seeing that land is disappearing and the, you know there's the whole issue of global warming. So he started a campaign of planting trees, planting trees, and which made him, you know, he got several awards for that and he even became a chairman of this Tanzanian National Environmental something, NEMC. I don't know the long form, I think I'll put that down there. And yeah, so I love the fact that he loved the environment and he cared for the environment. Number three of the things that I really liked about him was that his fight against corruption, injustice, inequality and stuff, he was such an activist when it comes to issues in terms of corruption because he hated that shit. He hated the whole concept of inequality and all the concept of injustice. So he was really one of the people who would stand out for issues like that. So I like that about him because he realized the issues. I mean, he respected human rights and he realized that everybody has has a role in this and everybody has the right to, you know, basically enjoy everything, the resources of the com of the country and stuff. So he was really against fighting this in corruption, injustice, and equality. So that's what I really loved about him. Number four is that he was really hardworking. I mean, hearing the stories that people who read the book and basically about his life journey and to where he is right now, it's really inspiring because you would, I mean, a bit of him, he was actually, his father died and he was left, you know, he's actually struggled, he's actually worked hard. And his educational life, his life after he was employed, and by the way, he has his the high school that he went to, Old Dumoshi's secondary school, I also went to that school, so yeah, we kind of have that in common. So, yeah, basically listening to his story and how he has worked his way up to where he is, is pretty inspiring. And one of the things that before he even died, he tweeted that he's gonna go to India to discuss about establishing a stem cell something in Tanzania. I do not know what stem cell is, I do not know, but it seems something something important that is coming to <clears throat> Tanzania. So it was also a few days after that and yeah, that's when he died. But apart from that, he's actually, he was also working on different ventures with a Korean company, I think, to establish smartphone plant. I don't make smartphones in Tanzania and also this car company I do not remember this stuff but he was actually working on that as well so yeah he was really hardworking, and you could tell by the success he's had and the companies that he owns you could definitely tell this person is really hardworking. even at the age of 75 if I would had that money I don't think I'll be working hard as he's working but he was really hard working and the last one is patriotism he was very patriotic about Tanzania he was really he really loved the country so much he has done so much for Tanzania and every Tanzanian knows this that he was it came to a point where I felt like he's an angel that you know it's just here on earth and, and our country is blessed to have him he has done so much to the country in terms of his philanthropies activities his he has really helped so many people and likewise I said he was actually doing deals that could help his country. Like his company IPP Media has employed employed approximately 5,000 people. That is a large number of people and imagine how many families are benefiting from all his companies and stuff. So yeah, he was very patriotic in all his speeches. He would talk about his love for the country and how and what future plans he has for the country in terms of what his company will do to the young people so yeah those are basically my five things that i remember mostly about reginald abraham mengi and may he rest in peace i'm sure yeah it's a, it's a tough moment we've all been there it's a tough moment for his family and he had two younger kids that is Jaden and ryan who are like six years old i think or seven they're very young the twins and his younger wife who when they got married in Mauritius back in 2015 it was actually a big deal because of the age difference They're actually 36 years apart but that's not a big deal he's actually married to one of the beautiful 
beautiful woman in Tanzania. Uh, she's a former Miss Tanzania 2000 and she has actually been a singer. She has had several hits. She has been a musician for quite some time, but she, that career is over. She's now into interior designing. She has her own company and she's a beautiful mother as well. So yeah, um, I don't know what to say, but I, all I can say is rest in peace, Reginald Menke. Thank you so much for inspiring us. And yeah, I mean, you were amazing. And the other thing is that, yeah, I mean, thank you for leaving us the book, uh, your book, out of your autobiography, I Can and Must I Will. Just reading the title of the book, you just know what to find in the book and how inspiring that book will be. I'll definitely try to read it and own it. And um, apart from that, um, yeah, rest in peace. And yeah, yeah, I'm from the. We're actually from the same village with Mengi, and he. And you have been an inspiration to the people in Machame, because I am from Machame, and we have always looked up to you. When we talk about success, we always refer to you as. Yeah, you have actually done it. I mean, you made it. You are like really rich and really successful and you're like down to earth. You're this amazing person that everybody in my channel wish to be and I could just say thank you and rest in peace and my condolences to the family. I know they're going through a tough time. So thank you so much for watching. Um, what do you, if you knew Reginald Menke, what are the things that you remember about him? What are the things that you wish uh, other people would know about him? That, let's just share, you could share, share it on comment section and just leave your comments and you can share, like share this video and yeah let's celebrate the life of monkey and how the impact that he's actually had in this community and yeah bye guys see you see you in the next video oh before i forget um yeah when he was launching his book in 2018 president mongofu was one of the guest of honors and in his speech he said something that I feel like I should end with, end with this, what he said. He said, one, one of the things that Mengi has showed us with his life is that it is possible to rise above one's circumstances if one is willing to pay the price. There is no shortcuts to success. Mengi's story is a wake-up call to young Africans to work hard and persevere despite of the odds. President John Pombe Magafuli. So I feel like this is this is such a I mean this statement shows you what kind of a person Minky was. So bye guys.